क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री द फॉलोइंग टेबल गिव्स एज ऑफ एटी स्टूडेंट सिलेक्ट फ्रॉम द कॉलेज हेयर इज द एज इज गिवन एंड द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड द मीडियन एज ऑल्सो फाइंड क्यू वन डी फोर पी थर्टी टू फॉर एज एंड इंटरप्रेट दैम नाव हेयर फर्स्ट आई टूक द टेबल इन माई बुक नाव आउट ऑफ दिस द फर्स्ट थिंग वी फाइंड आउट इज क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी टेक फर्स्ट इलेवन इलेवन प्लस फोर्टीन will be 25 25 plus 22 will be 47 plus 15 that is 62 plus 8 70 plus 6 76 plus 4 comes to 80 here is the total is 80 the next step is to find out the median now first of all look at the information the information is given in discrete frequency distribution and here in the formula clearly written that the raw data and the discrete frequency distribution to find this two we have to use this formula where we'll add plus 1 the observation this one was the last question where the information was given in the continuous this is the continuous frequency distribution and when the number the single number is written no class is written that is a discrete information so for discrete information we'll use only this formula so here first of all we'll write down that is value of n plus 1 upon 2 the observation here number we found is 80 Plus one divided by two, the observation. First, write down the value of the uh, in the formula, and then we'll start the calculation. That is eighty one upon two. And after dividing this, we'll get the answer. Forty point five, the observation. Now here, we'll check. This forty point five will come in which number of the cumulative frequency? Eleven twenty five, and here is the forty seven. Forty point fifth ka observation will comes in forty seven. So out of this, put on the line to find out the correct age. Now here we'll write down the age of fifty percent student. Fifty percent because we are finding median. So here we'll write down fifty percent of students. Will be ninety. That's what we have found just now. Next, they told you to find out is Q one, which will be our twenty five percent. So for Q one again, we'll write down value of n plus one. As we are finding quartile, we'll keep four. The observation. Here you can see the J is written. J means the number which we are finding right now. That is one. Your yeah, quartile one you are finding. So J will be one, and that is eighty plus one divided by four. The observation. Here I complete the calculation, and the answer is twenty point twenty five. So go back to the cumulative frequency and find out where the number twenty will come. Eleven and twenty five. This is the one where the number twenty point twenty five will come. So here the mean age is eighty. So just write down the age of twenty five percent students will be eighty. Next is D four. So let's find out for this D four. Here value of J n plus one decile to will keep upon ten the observation. J means four, and that is eighty plus one divided by ten. The observation this is the calculation. After the calculation, thirty-two point forty the observation for the decile four we found. So let's go back to the cumulative frequency and find out where this number will comes. Thirty-two point forty. So that will come in the number forty-seven, which will be again shows the age nineteen. Now here we are finding decile four. For this, we'll write down the age of decile four means forty percent. 
फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विल बी थर्टी टू पॉइंट फोर्टी द नेक्स्ट थिंग दे आस्क इन द क्वेश्चन इज पी थर्टी टू दैट इज परसेंटाइल सो वैल्यू ऑफ जे एन प्लस वन दिस टाइम परसेंटाइल टू विल कीप हंड्रेड the observation j is 32 n is 80 plus 1 divide by 100 the observation is the calculation of p32 here the answer we got is 25.92 now again we'll go back to this cumulative frequency and we'll find out where it will come Here we can see the exact number twenty five, but check the answer. It is twenty five point ninety two. Point ninety two से ये ज़्यादा बढ़ गया. Twenty fifth तो लेना ही है. The twenty fifth is your eighteen. But at the same time, point ninety two it has been increased. Now for this, we have to go with the calculation like that. Value of twenty fifth observation. Plus this point ninety two will be get separate from the twenty fifth observation. Then write down twenty sixth observation minus twenty fifth observation. Now twenty sixth observation just a one more number, uh, one more digit of twenty five. ऐसा कभी भी आपके सामने question आए तो जो number आपके आगे है उसी के एक number आगे बढ़ जाओ for writing twenty sixth observation minus twenty fifth observation. अगर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑब्जर्वेशन मैंने लिया है तो ऑब्वियसली ये ट्वेंटी फाइव में नहीं आएगा इट हैव टू गो टू द नेक्स्ट रो वेर द एज एज विल बी नाइनटीन आई जस्ट शो यू हैव टू गो विद द कैलकुलेशन द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज एटीन ईयर्स सो जस्ट राइट डाउन एटीन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन्टी टू Then twenty sixth observation, which is more than twenty five numbers, so we'll move to the next row. Take the age ninety minus the twenty fifth observation. That is the same twenty fifth, and there the age is eighteen. So eighteen plus zero point ninety two nineteen minus eighteen will be one. So here comes eighteen plus zero point ninety two. Eighteen point ninety two. So that's what the answer that as we have find out that P thirty two the percentile of thirty two. So here we'll write down the age of thirty two person, age of thirty two person of students will be eighteen point ninety two. Question number four. Use the following data to find the median salary. of employee in a firm also find the lower limit for the richest 20 person employee here the salary in thousand is given and the number of employees five for the more who is having the number of employees 120 10 or more 15 or more you can see this is the more than information is given and even you can see the frequency which is in the increasing order first of all we have to take it into the normal then only we can start the question to find out the median So here I took all the information which is given in the question. Salary which is more than so five or more than here first we'll make a correct class. More than five will be five to ten. The next will be ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty-five, twenty-five to thirty, and thirty to thirty-five. Now this is the addition of the number which is in the information of more than. So here to find out the frequency, we'll just subtract one twenty minus one hundred and seventy, which will be three. For the next one hundred and seventy minus one hundred and six, your answer will be eleven. One hundred and six minus seventy six will be thirty. Seventy six minus thirty one. Will be forty five. Next thirty one minus twelve will be nineteen. The last one is twelve. Take it as it is. 
now make it a total of frequency you will find the n is 120 after finding frequency find out cumulative frequency that is first one will be 3 3 plus 11 14 plus 30 44 sorry not 54 44 44 plus 45 will be 89 plus 19 108 plus 12 will be 120 so here our cumulative frequency is ready in the question the first thing they ask you to find out median now to find out the median here we can see the information is in continuous frequency distribution so here we'll find out value of n upon 2 the observation so here the value of n is 120 upon 2 the observation and the answer is 60 so 60 the observation find out in C cumulative frequency where it will come 3 14 44 is less than 60 so here is the number 89 where it will come so from 89 put on the line till your lower boundary point your frequency and 44 a number up now let's take into the formula l plus n upon 2 minus cumulative frequency upon frequency into class length the lower boundary point is 20 n upon 2 just now we found is 60 cf that would be 44 and the frequency 45 into the class length between these two is 5 here is the calculation that is 20 plus 60 minus 44 divided by 44 into C. Here I found 1.77. As I told you, we'll take one point only the first two digit. But if the third digit is more than 5, we'll increase in one digit the second number. That is, ye 7 ki jagah pe ho jayega 8. So here we found 21.78. So here we can say, the employ 50% employees are getting the salary of 21.78 as we are finding median we'll take it as a 50% the next thing which has been given in the question that also find the lower limit for the richest 20% employee now the lower than the richest 20% means out of 100% just remove the 20 remain 80% so that's what P80 we are going to find out here now to find out P80 in the continuous frequency distribution, we'll again take it as a value of J N upon 100 as we are finding percentage, the observation. So here value of J is 80 N, we found in the question is 120, divide by 100 the observation so here we will get out of this calculation 96th observation now for 96 again go back to the cumulative frequency and find out where it, this 96 will cover obviously these are the less than 96 so here is the 108 where this will take the class 25 to 30 where our lower limit will be 25 frequency will be 90 and cumulative frequency is number that is 89 so here we'll take the formula p80 is equal to lower limit plus j n upon 100 minus cumulative frequency divided by frequency into c the lower limit here we found is 25 Plus the calculation of this that is 96, the CF upper wala number 89, the frequency on the same line that is 19 and into the class length. The class length of this two is 5. So let's take out the calculation. Out of this calculation we will get 7 upon 19 into 5. So take out the calculation. Here you will get. 1.84 2 25 plus now the first two digit is 84 the third digit is 
2 which is less than 5. So we'll keep it as it is by 84. No need to increase any digit. Yaha pe 4 number ka 5th nahi hoga kyunki 3rd digit 5 number se kam hai. So directly 25 plus 1.68 will be 26.84. Here we complete. Here we can say that the lower limit of 20% employee the max with the maximum salary is 26.84.